Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I just did a playthrough of this game, Below the Ice, but it was a really shitty video. There was a lot of problems, like I couldn't figure out how to progress, so I was wandering around for like 20 minutes at one point. And I also forgot to save at a few points, so I couldn't go back and record the alternate endings. But, uh, I think I'll, uh, just do another playthrough. You know, because it's a good game, it's fun. It's just, I wasn't playing it pro- I mean, it's not that well made, because, uh, they didn't- Fuck, what am I trying to say? Not, not, not that well designed, some of the shit. Like, how it- you're not supposed to- well, you're supposed to do certain things, but it's not easy to know that you're supposed to do them, okay? Like, there's a part where you have to read these two papers to get a code, but they but when you click on either one of them, they show up as the same paper, unless you're, like, standing directly in front of the other one. So I thought it was just two copies of the same paper, but it's not. Anyways, uh, we'll, we'll get to that later on in the game. Anyways, uh... Uh, I'm being deployed in Antarctica to explore a secret base. It's kind of like Penumbra. So, we're on the Citizen Airlines. I guess I'm part of the Resistance, because it says Resist. And we're exploring a secret base out here. Alright, here we go. <coughs> yep, let's not make this take too long. Yeah, even right at the beginning, right here, uh, there was a bit of problems with the recording. Like, it, it's not that I was recording something wrong, like, the recording was working, it was just... I was, uh, doing a very shit job of finding what I was supposed to find. I'll probably do that again, though. We'll see. Yeah, that's, uh... Alright, we need to... need to find a way to unlock the gate. And so, I will look for a way to unlock the gate. Also, uh, I guess I didn't mention this recording, but I've been I've been pretty sick recently. Uh, last week I came down with a respiratory illness or whatever, and my sinuses were all clogged up, and I was coughing, tons of mucus. I had to stay home because I couldn't stop coughing in school, and I just couldn't focus, and I was probably distracting other people. <laughs> and then I also had to uh, come home yesterday uh, because I had a really bad stomach pain and I thought it was because I ate four slices of Sicilian pizza but that was not it uh, because I usually don't feel this bad uh, what, what, ended, what ended up happening is I came home I fucking puked in the toilet I had really bad stomach pain My, I, I got a fever of like 103.5 degrees I was fucking, I was wearing all my clothing, I was bundled up, right, but I felt freezing cold, and I was under a blanket, and the next thing I know I'm boiling hot, so I have to strip down to my pajamas, then I, then I go to the bathroom, I puke up bile, alright, here's what I have to find, yeah, so I puke up bile, and I, I, I feel like I'm gonna pass out, so I have to lay down on the bathroom floor, uh, I, luckily there was a carpet, so it wasn't on like the tile, so I just had to lay there for like two minutes, and then I'm like, uh, hey, hey, I was like talking to my brother, I was like, hey, can you get dad? I might pass out, just let him know. He's like, yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah, so I haven't been feeling great, but today, I've actually been able to eat food. Because yesterday, I couldn't eat anything after breakfast. But today, I ate some saltines, and then I had a sandwich, and I had some Gatorade last night and tonight. Alright. Look at this, it's like portal, isn't it? Very cool. Nice. Okay, main entrance. Well, let's go. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Well, it looks like we have been trapped and we are now loading something very cool all right yeah since I just played this I kind of have a better idea of what to do because before I didn't know what I was doing and I screwed up pretty bad on some of these puzzles <laughs> look at that it moves 
Alright, this one's annoying as fuck, because you have to get hurt. You have to click it and it hurts. I think you have to click it, maybe not. Alright, so that's... Oh fuck. Ow. There's fucking leeches in the water. Oh shit, I broke it. Cool. Yeah, last recording I got stuck behind the box and I almost had to reload. Okay, this is this is going much better. All those puzzles just breeze past them. <coughs> and I miss some certain things, you know, like in this room. This says, only those with prime intelligence can solve this puzzle. But, without reading that note, you wouldn't have known that it was a prime number puzzle, but I know that it's a prime number puzzle. And yeah, now it's neutralized, so otherwise I would have gotten electrocuted. Observation window, very cool. Yeah, and it's kind of like the uh, movie Cube. It's a very good movie, you guys should go watch it. There's some prime numbers puzzles in that as well. And it's kind of like this, you know. A bunch of people are trapped in this facility and they're trying to escape. It's like, they don't know how they got there. That's probably what happens to the people here. Probably just wake up here and they're like, I don't know how I got here. But I know how I got here. I came in a plane, bitch. I'm an infiltrator. <clears throat> but they don't know that. Or whoever's in charge probably does. Maybe they probably do, otherwise I wouldn't have gotten in here. Oh, oh, fuck. <coughs> that was pretty cringe. Okay. Now I have to redo the maze. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know if I didn't get off, it would have crushed me. It hadn't happened before. When I was playing my last playthrough. Well, it's fine, because I know exactly where I have to go. Is that the way I have to go? Yes. I think. Yes. Alright. And now I'm wearing earbuds as well, so it should help with the sound quality. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, I'm gonna save before that, because I didn't have any of those problems the last time around. I didn't get crushed twice in a row. Alright, this time I'm gonna save once I get out there. I should have done it last time. I should have done it the time before. I just didn't know I could get killed, <clears throat> so I should have done it last time. What I, I, I'm thinking of something. What did I see recently? I saw a Soma Transmissions. It was shit. Uh, you know that game Soma I played on my channel? They made like a some video series for it, and it wasn't very good at all. Some of the acting was horrible. Some of it was okay, but it's very disjointed. Oh, fuck. I'm such a retard. No fucking way. Hold on. I'm just gonna have to cut out some of that, okay? I'm sorry. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Alright, alright. You know what? I'm not gonna cut it out, okay? That's my mistake. I'm going to save, alright? And I have to say it out loud now, because it appears that I can't remember myself. Alright, I'm gonna save once I get outside there, so if I get killed again, I will not have to redo the fucking maze puzzle. Okay, we're here. Let's let's actually go in and save. Oh, looks like it killed me anyways. Well, good thing I saved. Yeah, I don't know how to avoid that, though, because, uh... Even if I back up, it still gets me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> fucking cringe. Yeah, the first time, the first recording, none of these fucking things killed me. They just pushed me around. Okay. Alright, it looks like we've gotten everything, so we should be able to progress. Goddamn, I'm really sorry about that. I thought I was, I thought I was gonna not fuck. I, I thought I was gonna do better on all the puzzles, and I did better on all the puzzles that I f sucked at last time, but I did really bad at the one puzzle I had no problem with last time. Okay, here we are. All right, one out of the 15 USBs that we need. This door is locked from the other side. Cringe. 
think I need to get in here. Yes. Come on. Fucking hell, get out of my way. I need that battery later though, so I don't want to like dispose of it. Burn, baby, burn. That's why I did that. I wanted the Easter egg. I'm just gonna go in here. No? Is it the floor below? Yes, this one. On this floor, I can break the vent. Alright. Yeah, that's so. That's such a bother that my last recording was so shit and this one's alright. No, this one's not turning out too well either. I mean, the puzzle. The puzzle, that one fucking puzzle. It should have been so easy and I screwed it up so bad. I mean, it wasn't really an easy puzzle. I just got lucky last time. Okay. Our funding has stopped, they say. How can we do this with no money? They can't finish the tunnels. We have to use recycled materials. We fight that alien scum with their own technology. Lethalson makes us sit in front of this radar all day and night when everyone knows nothing is out there. WTF. Last time, I didn't know that I had to press enter to quit that, so it was re I had to reload the game. At least I know what I'm doing this time. Alright, explore the area. Search for keypad code. All right, let's search for the keypad code. Hold up. I think I have to do something here. Yeah. I actually don't know what this does at all. I did it last time and nothing changed. Not a single thing happened I, I, when I did that. But it's fine. <coughs> Resident living. Shit. Whatever happened to this guy, it ate his flesh quickly. Imagine a world without idiots. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. Okay. Humanity Salvation Project, page one of two. Thank you for joining the Humanity Salvation Project. This document should outline what we do down here in our secret Antarctic base. There was a tragic incident many years ago that eventually resulted in most of Earth's people being enslaved by an alien organization called the Combine. Wayne Lethalson, a former employee of Aperture Science, began the Humanity Salvation Project in late 2002. He and his followers, which include you, are called the Chosen Ones. We firmly believe that people are incapable of freeing themselves from this wicked force, that they are far too weak and, and unable to work together as a whole to get anything good accomplished. It is for this reason that our goal is to restart humanity from scratch. In order to restart society, this, the same mistakes must not be made as before. The gene pool must be cleansed. The chosen ones must meet strict guidelines. High intelligence, visual appeal, and excellent health. No. All rejected candidates must be terminated immediately. Bodies should be cremated in a timely fashion. Once a sizable amount of followers have been collected, the station will be sealed and the cleansing will begin. Rockets containing our salvation solution will be deployed to major cities around the world. The process to eliminate all life on Earth, including any alien threats, should happen in a matter of weeks. It is estimated to take from 12 to 18 months for the toxicity to drop enough to leave the station. Then our mission will be accomplished. If it does not work, however, then Plan B will commence. The process would be the same, except it would be performed on another Earth in the multiverse. This, this uses technology provided by Aperture Science. We would like to thank all of our sponsors for their financial support these last few years. Together we will move onward to a brighter future. That's pretty stupid. Imagine trying to get rid of all life on Earth. I mean, I think that's what they mean. I, I would like a, uh, to get rid of everyone who isn't an idiot. Not everyone who is an idiot. And the Combine, that would be a good idea, right? Like, if they were just to kill all humans and Combine with the disease. But if you kill all life, that's just stupid. Alright. See this, this page here, page two of two. I was not able to open this one before. I was clicking on it and it kept opening page one, but I, just, I guess I have to stand in front of it as well. All right. Our records indicate that you have been hired for our science sector. Currently, we are working hard to improve our rocket technology to be more reliable and travel even further. We also need to create more of our salvation solution. It must be produced at a faster rate if we are to get anything done on time. 
Be careful, though. It spreads virulent disease extremely rapidly. Do not make physical contact with the solution for any reason. Our last goal is to improve the technology we need to remain hidden. We cannot afford to have the Combine or any remaining government or organization locate us. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you will be working in the main laboratory. Store all your work in the room Science Storage A and keep the door locked at all times. A member of the science staff will contact you with the keypad code. Do not share it with anyone outside of the science team for any reason whatsoever. Please destroy these pages when you are finished reading them. And most importantly, have a great day. 7842. I guess I have the code now. Get the code. I must destroy this salvation solution. I must. Okay. Dining hall's locked. Cringe. All right. <coughs> I'm doing much better than last time, except for that one fucked up puzzle. It wasn't actually a fucked up puzzle. All right, let's read this. <sighs> Sorry about my breathing, though, because uh, I'm still a bit sick, even in my lungs. Okay. Policy, procedure, and protocol of the Humanity Salvation Project. Number one, all members must keep a written record of the activities of other members, including any suspicious activity. Report to your manager weekly. Number two, all members must take their full immunization treatments on the first of the month. This is mandatory. Any sign of illness will result in immediate quarantine or termination. Number three, it is forbidden to discuss or communicate in any way pro-combine, pro-Black Mesa, or religious ideas. Violators will be terminated. Number four, curfew is strictly at 11 p.m. unless permitted by the president. Number five, vehicle speed limit in the tunnels is 10 miles per hour, no exceptions. Number six, food and water supplies must be checked weekly for ration amounts and quality. Number seven, only authorized kitchen staff may access the kitchen. Only authorized lab staff may enter the lab, no exceptions. Number eight, testing of new candidates must be observed and the data should be shared with all members for analysis. Number nine, do not approach anything that appears toxic, structurally unsound, or supernatural without consulting the president first. Number 10, all members must keep one or more propaganda posters in their room at all times. Lovely. Which one's this? That's the maze. Okay. All right, I explored all that. I just have to explore the top floor. Is this open? No. Lobby. sounds in there. Mm. I think this room right here is how I access the, uh, the secret ending, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we'll see what's in here, though. Another chip or whatever. Okay, personal log, June 20th, 10.53 p.m., Dr. Wayne Lethalson. The men at Aperture never did understand the greatness of my work. It is probably fitting that they died as victims of an AI they could not control. They never understood the spectacular visionary that Mr. Johnson was. They never understood the meaning of his work. All of our science was meant for this, for this mighty work of salvation. I devoted so much of my life to making it happen. The survivors of Black Mesa have a popular following, but their efforts are mediocre at best. If anything, they only make the Combine angrier and more oppressive with every move they make. And it was they who allowed the alien filth to enter this world in the first place. A tragic incident happened today. Dofreen Gorman, an excellent scientist of ours, died after contact with the Salvation Solution. It was a very painful experience, and he perished shortly after being quarantined to his room. The data I collected from this one day alone has just, has been astounding. No, astounding. Now I know... Now I know how for certain now I know for certain how successful our work will be. Sure, I could have just given him the antidote, but even he didn't deserve that. It wasn't worth the risk. I don't trust all of our members here. It could take only one of them to undermine all our progress. That is why I keep the antidote hidden away where nobody can get to it. Every day I grow more uncomfortable. Something doesn't feel right. I make sure someone watches a radar 24-7 and reports any findings, no matter how small. Our backup plan, cowardly hiding, is something I do not want to resort to, but no, but one day we might have to use it. I may be hallucinating as well. Who is this man in the blue suit? I only see him for a fraction of a second out of the corner of my eye. Ooh, it's the G-Man, I guess. The G-Man's watching every move you make. 
<coughs> All right. Okay. Scary. Another chip. Six out of fifteen. I just want to make sure I didn't miss any chips out here. Whatever they are, the USBs. There might have been one in here. No, I think I got it right by the couch, yeah. I think I missed one downstairs, though. Ow, fuck. I feel like I shouldn't wander down there just yet. All right, I'll just leave this place alone for now. All right, I already got that chip. Then there was this room, yeah. This room, I already got the chip here, I think. Yeah. What do I need to do? Enter the lab and destroy the poison. Well, I have the code, so I can enter the lab now. Yep, I got... There wasn't a chip in here. Enter the lab. Where did all of their lab stuff go? Yeah. Bad genes are to blame. Keep the human race clean. Human race? Human species, more like. It's a lot of races, you know. It's not just one. All right, let me let me make a save right here. Oh no! Whoa! It's the citadel. How did I get here? Whoa, man, this is weird. Whoa, man, that's pretty strange. Oh, God. There has to be an antidote, and I must find it. Well, it looks like I'm receiving telepathic communications from the Combine. I don't know, that's what that was, probably. Look like a combine grub, combine advisor. It seems to have no gas. Cringe. All right, let's get some gas then. Observation. Observation's always pretty nice. I like to observe the testing rooms. chip and so many new candidates burned to a crisp. Tragic. Well, I guess they weren't prime intellect or whatever it said. Only people with prime intelligence can solve this puzzle. That was an easy-ass puzzle. Like, imagine, like, you're so stupid that you can't figure out. I mean, I did mess it up the first time, but it's really not that hard to figure out prime numbers unless you have, like, a learning disability, in which case you're not stupid. I mean, I wouldn't say that's stupid. I'd just say you have a disability. And, you know, I'm not going to get into what it means to have a disability. Okay, that looks like that thing up there is cracked, so I'm going to go break it. Well, I'm not sure what it's going to do for me. Oh, I almost got stuck. All right, well, it's a flashing red light. Flashing red for the flashing red lights are pretty cool usually south wing yay it's the south wing i don't think i got to analyze the map on this one or right, whatever there's a map somewhere probably now that's pretty cool isn't it okay <coughs> fuck I know there's another chip here. Last playthrough, actually, uh, when I was playing, I actually only got 14 out of the 15 chips, which is interesting. Okay, North Wing and South Wing are connected now. Lovely. Alright, let's head up. Oh god. Oh god. Looks like I don't want to go in there, do I? 
fucking hell. God damn, that's creepy. There's some scary noises. Kind of reminds me of Dead Space, except I don't think I'm gonna get attacked anytime soon. Because in Dead Space, there's always scary monster noises, but that means that you're gonna be attacked. Oh. Oh boy, I'm in the Citadel again. God, stop. Three, one, two, four. I don't know you, buddy. Oh shit, it's the chair. <laughs> Room 101 from 1984. They're gonna torture me. Who fucking knows? Alright, 9 out of 15. Lovely. And the lights are on, and I'm not walking in slow motion anymore. So that's all really good news. Yeah, I actually have no clue who was just calling me or why. Good that there's still food here so I won't starve. You know, there's milk and Chinese rice and beans and a melon. That's really gonna keep me alive for a long time. I eat beans and rice and a That's actually some good nutrients. You get that protein, that sugar, that fat, maybe in the beans. I think beans might have fat, maybe not. What am I looking for now? Explore and find the antidote, okay. Because right now, I've just looked up in a room, and it kind of did some weird stuff. Alright. Let's go check out the other areas. I'm gonna go check out the glacier. I thought I heard breathing sounds. That was creepy. Ooh, I like the ambience. Okay. It's very cool. Just a glacier in the middle of the fucking tunnels. How, how the hell did that get there? I don't know. Gasoline for the car. Lovely. I'm just gonna take. I'm, I'm just gonna take the car up here. Oh fuck! It's G-Man. Oh shit! He's running. Now he's walking away. And he waddled away, waddle waddle, till the very next day. Bum, bum, bum. I'm sorry. That was cringe. That was unacceptable. Unacceptable behavior. Let's go. This is actually pretty nice. I would love to be like part of a eugenic science team living in like an underground Arctic base. It's cool as fuck. Wait, I didn't check that room for, hold on, let me check up here as well. Who knows, there could be a secret chip hidden in here. All right, I, I think that, I don't think I checked this room. I'm pretty sure there's a chip in here. Yeah, here, yeah. I almost missed that, that wouldn't have been good. Although I'm not sure how many there are left. Last time I got to this area, I already had 14 of the 15 chips. So I might actually have to go back and cut out some of the footage where I find the rest of them. Let's see. We'll see what happens. I'll probably just stop recording and uh, get the chips. Uh, here's another one, 13 out of 15, so I only need two more. But I probably did miss some back there. I can't imagine they're all going to be up here. Okay, that's fenced off. Oh, there's a door. Is there a chip here? I don't see one. Whoa, it's the rocket. Very cool. Although I'm not sure how it's going to get out because I'm sure it's frozen shut. Anyways, salvation solution to supply and deployment. This, store, this stage does something important, I think. Complicated science thing here. Fuel reserves for orbital propulsion equals MC squared ionized plutonium fusion engine. Very cool, very cool. Just all really cool stuff. What else is there? Uh, that's back downstairs. If this if if this is what I think it is, 
Yeah, all right. I'm gonna have to pause this, find the rest of the chips, and I'll be right back, because I don't wanna record me getting the chips. That's gonna be so boring, all right? Let me just go find them. All right, well now I know where the final uh, chip is. The last one, the uh, second to last one, was actually in the bathroom of the uh, dead guy in his room, and this one is right over here. So, that's good. Oh boy. It's scary, isn't it? Man, I sure am terrified. Ooh, gee whiz. <coughs> Whoa. Okay. I should take these to the computer room on level 5 now. Actually, I'm going to uh, make a save right outside the computer room on level 5, but I'm not going to go in. Alright, I'm going to save right out here, and then I will come later on to finish the secret. Alright, so right now we're just going to continue the game as normal, but I will clip in the secret at the ending. Or perhaps I could just load it. Oh uh, yeah. I believe that the car is waiting for me out here, so that's good. That's splendid. Should be right out here. <coughs> and we can get we can get moving right along because we now have all fifteen. Here we are. Three point turn. Let's go. Stuck. Let me just get unstuck. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, I see the back tires are kind of stuck. Are you shitting me? That's fucking cringe. Alright. Huh. Well, let's go back. I'll just go this way instead. I think this should be a much faster way of getting there. Oh, or this is probably the way I took already, yeah. So it's the same exact way. Okay, I will try not to get stuck this time. I'm not gonna go into fucking turbo drive mode. All right, here we are. Let me just make sure it's recording. Yes, the video is recording. All right, here we go. Looks like I'm in, so that's good. <laughs> Man, this turbo is really fun, but it's like kind of glitchy. All right, let's go. Right, let me just check the save. Yeah, the save's right there. So once I do the uh, two endings, I'm going to go back. I could probably just do them all in one sitting. I, don't, I won't even have to stop recording. All right. Looks like we're going to another testing area because, you know, this texture on the walls. It's like right at the beginning. What we do here is go back. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, my, my lungs are still a bit coffee. I don't like coffee. It's fucking gross. I drink it sometimes, but that's like once every few months. Like two or three times a year I'll drink it. It's not very good. Hot cocoa's much better. I heard something strange. I don't know what it was. Whatever. Oh! <laughs> I threw the crowbar at him. Okay. Take that, you turret. Bitch. Okay. Alright, so I have that. Now, see that? I guess that's the antidote, and there's a bridge to the antidote. Alright. Oh. Any notes? 
notes around here because there's some notes in the other one. No, no notes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh it's close. It's scary, isn't it? Just listen. Listen to this. <laughs> so so far away it sounds so weird it's like the pitch is way different <laughs> The numbers must be balanced top and bottom. 21. <coughs> Alright, since I already did a playthrough, I probably will be able to get this pretty easily. Okay, so 5 plus 7 is 12, I believe. Plus 8 would be 20. Nah, that's not going to work. 7, 8, 6. And this one's nah, that would be 9, 18, 19, 20, 21. Would that work? Hmm. I think last time I had just nine, and th both of the nines and a three. 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh yeah, the funny thing is, before, uh, I told you guys that I got a phone call, right? So I answered the phone call. Alright, that's good. I answered the phone call, and you know what it fucking was? No, I, no, I didn't answer the phone call. I listened to the voicemail, and it was a three minute long fucking voicemail, and it was like a baby, like a little kid had gotten a phone. And they just called me. Damn roller mines. Yeah, some like little girl, like a three year old or something, called me on the phone. And uh, I, I was just like, what is this? And it's just three minutes of this little kid laughing and like just playing around and like hitting the phone and shit. It's pretty quirky. My brother's messaging me to see what game I'm playing. Uh, I'm not going to tell him right now though, because I'm a bit busy. All right, here we go. Let's get this cure, boys. Now I need to get out of this place. Damn right. This place is fucked up. Whoa. All right. Time to leave. <gasps> Dear hero, you don't get it, do you? Can't you see that you've been used? They're coming. Uh-oh, that's not good. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. <coughs> Before they get here. I wonder who they are. I don't know. Is it the Rebels or the Combine? Someone's coming, and I don't like the sound of that, though. Oh fuck! No, no, come on! Oh fuck! No! Fucking elevator! Oh my god, a flashlight! Finally! Oh thanks, man. Thanks for the flashlight. You all right? Looks like he got hit by lightning. I don't know. He's all charred. That was fucked up. I don't know what that was. Like an airstrike? That's what it sounded like. Okay, let's go. Dude, this is creepy. There's probably like fucking zombies down here. Fuck, come on, let me in. Yeah, that music's fucked up. I don't like it. <coughs> who are the bad guys? Those who free humanity from the torture of a dying world? Or those who help our benefactors? Uh-oh. Am I doing bad? Danger, contaminated area. Okay. There's a lot of coolant. I don't know why there's coolant out here. Like, this it's not a nuclear reactor. Oh, fuck. I'm getting out of here before this thing collapses. 
Damn, this looks like Portal. All this rusted brown metal. There's a lot of that in that game. Yeah, this is really portal-esque. It's a giant fan with orange light and a rusty room. Very much Portal 1 aesthetic. It's cool. Very cool. And my stomach's kind of hurting, which is annoying. Alright, let's get in here. Yeah, it's because I'm sick. So my guts are hurting. Oh, fuck. That's pretty cringe. <gasps> no, I fucking died. Okay. I thought since it had slowed down, I'd be okay. Looks like I wasn't. Well, luckily, we're getting right back on track. Here we are. There we go. That should be safe. Alright. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's the coolant room. I'm not going back there. That'd be pretty cringe. God, my back's hurting. Like, the muscles and, like, the joints. Probably because I'm sick as fuck. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, I barely fucking made it. I landed right on the corner. Close. Oh, going all the way up. Fuck. Okay, let's go up. Oh. Are you sure you want to take the gun? This will lead to a difficult, violent ending. Nah, hold on. I'm gonna make a save here, okay? And I'm not gonna take the gun, but then I'm gonna load it up and take the gun, and then I'm gonna load up the other save and do the secret ending. So we could do it all in one setting. In one sitting, I mean, not one setting. One sitting, so I don't have to, like, clip a bunch of shitty pieces together. Because that's always annoying, because then the video takes, like, hours to like process because I have to put it with I have to convert everything and then put it in Windows Movie Maker and then put the pieces together after they load but this way I won't have to uh, put them in Windows Movie Maker at all so I won't have to deal with that oh shit it's G-Man he's gone scary Man, my whole abdomen hurts. I thought it was just like my liver, but it's like both sides, so... It's good that it's not my liver, because if it was, that wouldn't be good. Because I've been taking acetaminophen, and that's not good if you have liver problems. I don't have liver problems, just saying. But it can happen. But luckily, it's probably not my liver, since my whole body is hurting both sides. Okay, it's vibrating, everything's shaking. Uh, this is where I went down. Admittance to authorized personnel only. <laughs> no way. Yeah, no fucking way. It's scary. I'm not going down there. Wow. Pretty spooky, isn't it? Alright. It's fucking dark. Alright, let's go. I think the place is getting shelled. Look at that, the whole wall is cracking. It's probably airstrikes, that's what that's why the elevator fell, I think. It's gotta be why. Whoa, it's like glowing. Okay. okay. Oh fuck! The combine are here, oh shit. That's not good, that's not supposed to happen. Those are supposed to be combines. There they are. I just wanted to load them in, not that I like getting shot at. Oh 
Okay, I didn't catch her. Oh, please! Oh, I didn't kill him. Fuck. Okay. I'm actually gonna make it, holy shit. Oh, oh fuck. It's like that one part in Amnesia. Like, uh, when you get the orbs and you have to walk through this, like, tunnel. And then it's also similar to the Johan Vaya ending as well. But not really. I don't know, like the, like the tunnel with all these lights and it's all dark and scary. Ooh, look at this. Pretty scary, isn't it? G-Man. Ooh, there he is. Oh, he's gone. Am I, fi am I gonna go where he goes? Oh. Oh fuck, this music's creepy. I like it. Oh fuck. The button's gone. Hmm. I don't like this one fucking bit. Oh shit. That's no good. It kind of reminds me of the end of Space, uh, 2001 Space Odyssey. It's all like this like big white room and all this freaky shit going on, you know? What the fuck? Oh, there's water down here. Oh, fuck. Okay. <coughs> Where am I? So peaceful, so beautiful. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Could have done a better job, you know, like, it's like this little room with like a fake skybox and there's like three trees outside. I don't know. It's all right. Okay, so it looks like, uh, that was the first ending, the peaceful ending. I probably died and that was like a, I probably bled out and that was like my hallucination. Cause we all know I didn't emerge from an underground Arctic base into a nice Alpine forest somewhere. Oh shit. I was probably caught by the combine. Yeah, maybe, maybe I bled out and that was my hallucination, but now I'm back alive and I'm in the combine's possession. Who fucking knows? Oh damn. Oh no, it's getting closer. Ah! Spooky. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no. No, why? It is the combine. They fucking caught me and now they're gonna fucking crush me. <coughs> no, come on. Alright, I'm gonna get in here. I think this might help me if I stay between. It won't be able to crush me, right? Oh fuck. It's G Man. Adjusting his tie. Oh, they did get me. I was right. It was a fucking hallucination right before I died. I probably bled out because I got shot so much. I thought there was a door, but I just walked into a wall and passed out. Oh, that's sad. Alright, maybe if I pick up that gun, I would be able to defend myself. Well, yeah, mission accomplished. I did save the world from the badass eugenicists who were actually pretty based and epic. Created by Evan Holloway. Thievina. Alright, I'm just going to load up the next one. This is the uh, non-pacifist ending. So we're actually going to take up arms against the, the invaders. I guess combines are invading the building. Probably. That's probably It's probably going to be the same thing almost, but I have a gun. And then the secret ending, I don't really know what that's going to be. Maybe it'll be like... Oh, oh fuck, I almost died. I almost walked off. <coughs> okay. 
see. Free no more. Hmm. It's like a Doug Ratman den, you know? There's food all over it. Little thing. I don't know why my flashlight turned into a square right now, but that's kind of cool. Anyways, there's a tunnel down there. I'm not going down there. In my last playthrough, I did jump down. It's just a fucking hellhole. It's like you fall and you die. Anyways, on the last play- Oh, there's G-Man. On the last playthrough, this was the only ending I played, the uh, violence one. So I actually didn't know what was in the other ending until just now. Alright, and I have no clue what's going to be in the secret ending, I don't think. Oh, nice. Oh, boy. Hell yeah. It's fucking epic. Let's make sure everything's loaded on full ammo. Alright, everything's full. Okay. These must be part of the organization. Some Asian guy and some white guy. Is this the uh, the Hapa the Hapa insurgency? That must be what's going on. These people are going to create a Hapa master race. That's what this whole eugenics program is about. Oh no, there's a black woman or a mulatto woman. That's odd. You'd think some eugenicist would probably use the best genetic material if you know what I'm saying and not introduce dysgenic material. Whatever. Maybe these are extremely intelligent people of their kind and it'll all be okay. Fuck, zombies, man. Who would've thought there'd be zombies down here? Uh, fuck. Oh god, there's like head crabs underground jumping out of the snow. Fuck that. Okay. Kill them all. Let's get some health. Alright. Yes! All the health. Getting all of it. Let's see what's over here. Not exactly the genetic material I was expecting from a uh, eugenicist organization. Like, you, uh, and I'm not saying because there's black people. I'm saying because typically eugenicists are uh, racial purists. You know, like they they would want uh, it to be homogenous from the start. You know. Oh fuck. get killed because I've actually been able to fight off the combine. You know, I have a weapon. Oh fuck. Shit, I guess I can't go that way then. They just keep spawning, okay. I'm, I'm just gonna jump. Fuck this. What? Oh shit. Do they just keep spawning back? I hope not. I'm fucking out of here. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Holy 
Fuck, that grenade landed in like the perfect spot. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to bring out the rocket launcher, I think. I'll just use this grenade. Yeah, that grenade works well enough. Oh, fuck. Alright, alright, looks like we fought off those guys, uh, get all the ammo we can, I think I'm full, yep, ammo's full, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Glad this is next to two mods, next to two space and epic. The hunters, you know, hunters are pretty cool. You know, a fucking place with columns is the worst place for a hunter to try to kill you. It's like they have a huge disadvantage, you know. Oh. What a dream. Where, where am I? I'm in prison? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was a really good ending. I'm in jail, and I just had a crazy dream. But that doesn't make any sense. Why would I be in jail? Alright. Let's load uh, this ending. This sh Hopefully this is a good ending. Now I should turn on the president's computer and watch this. Okay. I need. I'm gonna need me some privacy for this. Oh fuck, okay. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That guy thought six was a fucking prime number. Oh, he deserves it. He deserves it 100%. I think that was six. The HSP has been doing very well. Our membership has been growing rapidly. <coughs> Only a few have failed. Damn. I know we can remain hidden and finish our work. I guess this is the president. Salvation is within our grasp. What was his name? Oh, shit. Who is this strange man? Oh fuck. Error, file corrupted. What the fuck? Oh boy, I'm in another uh, bizarre psychedelic dream state. You're probably dying again. Every time you go into a psychedelic dream state, it means that you're terminally ill. Oh fuck. You have done well. But there is still much work to do. Below the ice. Yeah, but I, I didn't get the keyword, so I died. That's cringe. Or maybe he... Maybe the G-Man put me in a preservation. He put me in a stasis so I wouldn't die. And he's going to cure me and continue to use me for whatever he uses people for. Source engine and end. Oh, the end end. Evina Entertainment. Excellent. Ending two of three. Yeah. Well, it looks like we've gotten all the endings. We got the peaceful ending, the secret ending, and the genocide. I guess not genocide. That's like Undertale shit. The violent ending. And it looks like uh, either way you end up dying of the disease, getting shot and bleeding to death, or or being captured by the Combine, or ending up in jail, and probably also being captured by the Combine. <coughs> well, it was fun, uh, but I'm going to end the recording now. <coughs> I might record something else soon. I'm probably going to record Amnesia or Penumbra, and I mean the good, uh, not, I don't know, no, the, the not-so-good Amnesia game, maybe. It's alright, you know, it's worth playing. 
Especially since, uh, I mean, you know, Halloween's just ended, so I might play some spooky stuff since I have a few days off. Alright, well, I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.